Don Connolly Associates is really a learning center for financial advisors. I have now 40 some years experience and I love to pass it on to advisors. I want to teach them what's really important in the career of an advisor. My career began the day I got out of college. I went to work immediately. And I graduated in June and by, looked for a job and by September I was working and haven't stopped since. Actually, I began when I was nine years old delivering newspapers. <laughs> I've been speaking publicly probably for 30 years. It started when I was a national sales manager at Colonial Funds. I began making, in those days, a couple of audio tapes. And those caught on and it was very, very different because most firms, most mutual fund companies in those days, when a speaker was needed, would send out a money manager. And I was out there as an ex-advisor talking to advisors about being an advisor. So it was tremendously popular right from the beginning. We focus the advisor on where to focus. Success in this business is not hard skills, it's not product knowledge, it's not what we learned in training. Success in this business, and we forget this, is how we deal with people, how we think about ourselves, and our conversational skills. So number one, we focus the advisor on the, on the three important areas. Speaking concisely and clearly and simply, interacting with people, and always being positive. And the second way we help is we show the advisor how to do those three things. We work on, convert, on conversational competence, we work on interpersonal skills, and we work on self-awareness. We stress those things. I've seen really smart people that can't sell themselves, they can't sell their ideas, and it occurred to me the best advisors in the world are people I want to hang out with. And they're not, they didn't go to Harvard, they don't have IQs of 200, they're just really, really nice folks. And I began to realize, hey, these are the guys and these are the women gathering the assets. You have to motivate yourself. You can't depend on someone outside to do for it. I think one major, major thing in life we all should do, financial advisor or not, is stay away from negative people. This world is full of people who would love to tell you your dreams can't come true. I call them, they're, they're, they're steal your dreams. We have to stay away from those people. So look for positive things. The truly optimistic people that I know, when something bad happens, they look at it as a temporary setback, not a permanent, it's not why me, or this is the way it's going to be. It's just temporary. And they pick up and go on from there. So I think part of it is staying away from negative people, and part of it is looking for positive things in life that we can grab onto. Ours is a very complex business, and literally very bright people walk into an advisor's office, they know nothing. The most successful advisors, in addition to being the hardest workers and having the most self-awareness, are wonderful communicators. They can make a very complex business very, very simple. I've had some really great feedback. Probably the best thing ever said to me came from my buddy Mike down in Lubbock, Texas. And he said, Don, what I love about you is you teach third grade English. And I just love that. When I'm not working, I, I love to relax. I'm lucky enough to live on the water. I have a small boat, two dogs. We take the boat out, we go out with the dogs, we relax. I'm a reader, I'm a, I'm a lousy golfer, but an avid golfer. So I just, when I'm, not, when I'm not working, I am really at ease because I know soon I'm going to be back in line at an airport, back on an airplane and back on stage.